Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Wednesday, the 10th day of August, the day after Tisha B'Av. Okay, so here's a lot of the laws that you need to know as Tisha B'Av uh, for 2011 becomes a piece of our history. First of all, all the laws of happiness, like uh, music and concerts and swimming and haircuts and uh, also eating meat and drinking wine, all those have to wait until Chatzos, until midday of the 10th. In other words, Wednesday afternoon at midday, that's when you start doing all the fun things. And that's because the burning of the temple actually lasted until Chatzos of the 10th. And therefore, we don't want to be quick to rush into any of the fun things while that sad thing was still going on. Chatzos is not noon, but it is the middle of the daylight time of the day. So the time, uh, one of the ways to calculate is from sunrise until sunset. Figure out the exact midpoint of that, and that is the middle of the day. In the Baltimore area where we're taping this, that's at about 1.12 in the afternoon on Wednesday afternoon. There are some laws of sadness that extend and last all year long. I'll give you some examples of them. A person is never supposed to laugh all the way until the fullest, fullest laughter. I, I know that sounds like, a, how would you measure that? But we never go absolutely, totally wild in laughter ever until our temple is rebuilt. A lady who has a lot of jewelry is never supposed to wear all of her jewelry at one time. If you would wear all of your jewelry at one time, that's like the height of uh, an expression of happiness. And we would actually like to reserve that until the moment when our temple is rebuilt and not at times when we still feel some sadness. Um, also, if you're ever uh, building a house from scratch, you're supposed to leave at least one spot in a house that's unfinished, at least uh, one cubit by one cubit. That's about a foot and a half by a foot and a half or two feet by two feet. Some people like to do it opposite the front door, something that's unfinished, just to show that we're never in our fullest form of happiness. That's one of the reasons why we break a glass at a wedding. We say, my, my happiness is not complete until I remember that there's something missing. Break a glass. And then we say, now we can say Mazel Tov. When a, a groom, a chassan, walks down to the aisle at his own wedding, he's supposed to put a little bit of ashes just at the spot where his tefillin go on the top of his head. Uh, that's to show that I have to remember the destruction of our temple. And it's always with me until it is rebuilt. And these kinds of laws stay with us all year long, always, until the temple is rebuilt speedily. May it be rebuilt speedily and in our days. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.